In this video, I wanted to demonstrate using technical contrast medium by Citadel Colors. This is the clear liquid which you find in contrast paints on its own, so you can just add your own paints and your own colours to make your own batches of this. What we're firstly going to do is contrast this with one of the normal contrast paints. So this is one which I use quite frequently. This yellow, uh, I use this for my home brush bakering chapters as yellow is quite a difficult colour to paint with. So I'm going to be doing a mixture of two paints added to some plain contrast colour. So I'll be adding this paint with this paint, mixing them together, then adding some of this contrast medium, and then we're going to compare it to this and see what it looks like. Okay, so I've just got this plain space marine here, an old school, well, fairly old school now, Terminator. So we're just going to put this on the miniature of our face of the plot. I've shook this up and mixed it as much as I can, but some contrast paints, obviously, the liquids do separate in them. So what I'm going to do is just paint one side with the normal contrast paint. I personally really like using contrast paints. You don't just need to use them for a quick paint job to get on the table. I use them as well as a good coverage for base and models, especially models with difficult colours to paint with, like yellow. So we've got a nice coverage for just one coat of the contrast medium. So that's what that yellow looks like in contrast paint. And now what I'm going to do is add some of this contrast paint that's clear, this contrast medium, and add it to that paint which I showed you before. So I'm just adding a couple drops on my palette just to see what this looks like. And I've tried my best to recreate the colour from the contrast paint we've used previously. So I've added a couple of drops of the contrast medium to my paints. So as you can see we've got quite a nice coverage. I assume that it will depend on the type of paint you use as well. So if you're using a very sort of cheap brand of paint, coverage still probably won't be as good as if you've got a, a nice paint brand like a Citadel Paints or Skeleton Spine, etc. But it flows very well, this contrast medium. So let's just compare those two. Now, they're almost identical except for the fact that the pre-done contrast paint has these little darker areas. And I do like these darker areas where the paint separates because you can sort of move them around and then put them into the recesses to create some shading without actually putting a wash on. So. I think it's pretty good, technical medium, in that comparison. It's not as thick and gloopy. So when you're using a normal contrast paint, what I do find, you, even though you do shake it up, there is still it's still quite a gloopy mixture. You still have to kind of wash it down a little bit or play around with it. Whereas just adding the technical contrast medium to already mixed paint, which I've done myself, uh, it has more of an even coverage. So I think they both have the benefits and the negatives. Like I said, it's nice that the contrast medium has these natural 
uh, shadows which we can create from the darker colours when it separates but it's thicker and this is nicer because it just flows nicely and we can control how much medium we're adding whereas obviously if we're just taking it out of the tub of contrast paints it's very thick and gloopy so I do think it's good I do have to say it's good um, the next thing I'm going to be doing is contrasting the contrast medium with some thinner medium now this is thinner medium this is generally what you use to add to paint to thin it down but unlike water it doesn't break the paint down too much it doesn't dilute it we still generally get a lot of the color showing through so it helps the paint flow better especially if we don't want our paint to be too thick or we try to create uh, a glaze or uh, if we're trying to blend the paints uh, a lot better they flow a lot better when we're trying to blend or create a glaze okay so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be using a uh, just a generic blue from scale 75 i'm going to be adding some contrast medium to that blue and then i'm going to be using that blue and adding some thinning medium to that blue and then comparing how the flow works and how they look okay so i'm just going, going to be using this generic space green the first born uh, it's just primed in white so what we're going to do is grab our blue oh i just added a little bit of thinning medium so like i said unlike water we still keep a lot of the opaqueness so I just cover this shoulder pad in blue with thinning medium. Thinning medium is also excellent as well, like I said, for creating your own washes and for getting an even coverage when you're basing a model or if you're glazing blending etc it's very helpful too so obviously there is still some gaps where you can see the white undercoat but if we put down another layer of paint after this one you'll get a nice coverage so it's pretty good now i'm going to be Comparing this to using the technical contrast medium. So we've got our blue from before. I'm just adding a little bit of the contrast medium. I'm going to put this on the other shoulder pad. So like I said, it does act in a similar way to the thinning medium. So we essentially water down the paints, well dilute the paints without using losing the opaqueness of it. That helps it flow better. Very similar. And you can obviously control how much medium that you use unlike if you just bought the contrast paint itself so if you bought the blue contrast paint you couldn't really play around with it as much in terms of thickness you could water it down obviously but you've got more control when it's just adding the medium on top of over in the paint so let's do compare and contrast so on this side we have the thinning medium with blue as you can see it's got slightly separated but we do get a nice coverage obviously this is good if we want to build up layers gradually or we want some blends or we want to see a glaze you know we want to see some of the colors underneath showing through now compare that to the other side with the contrast medium um it's it's similar i'd say it's similar um i'll just put a little bit more on 
it, it, it's got a, a sort of a, a similar coverage, but I think this has a thicker coverage, personally. So I've added sort of a couple drops of paint to the thinning medium, and then a couple drops to the contrast medium. Uh, I do have to say the contrast medium has a, a better coverage. It's more opaque. So it just works really well. Whereas the thin medium, like I said, it is probably better if you wanted to get more technical, if you wanted to um, create some sort of underneath layers showing through, some blends, some glazes, etc. And the contrast is probably nicer if you just want to have a good, even, solid coverage. Not to say that you couldn't use the, the technical medium, contrast medium, for creating glazes if you watered it down a little bit. I do have to say I am in, impressed by that. It's very good. Uh, just one last thing, I'm going to compare using the contrast medium for the paint to just using a paint on its own with uh, some water, if that makes sense. Okay, so we are going to be using red for this. So I've got some red and I've just watered the red down. Let's do one side in red. With water. So obviously that's more of like a, a diluted sort of wash when you've added water. Now I'm going to add some of the medium, the contrast medium with my red on my palette. I'm just adding like a sort of it from my brush. As you can see already, it's a lot thicker. Now I'll just pop some red on here. I do warn you though as well, this red I have is... Um, a little bit thinner than the other paints I was using. So it's still just covered the miniature quite nicely. So that's very nice. So that side is added with some water, and that side is added with our contrast medium. So let's just do a comparison. So we've added, um, we've used just the normal contrast paint, a yellow contrast paint, uh, we've used the contrast medium, we've added some yellow, uh, we've done the thinning medium with uh, some blue, and the contrast with blue, and we've done some water with red, and then the contrast with red. So I do have to say I really like the contrast medium. Um, it has the benefit of uh, the contrast paints, obviously, but without that that thick gloopiness, because you can um, you can control the amount that you use basically, can't you? So use whatever paint you want, and then use the the contrast medium. Add that, and it's thicker than the thinning medium. Obviously, thinning medium is brilliant for glazes, for building up gradual layers, for more technical stuff. The contrast paint's good for getting really good coverage, uh, an even coverage. So, I do have to say it's it's a great great tool, a great technical paint to play around with. Whether or not other brands will attempt to uh, copy it at some point potentially, um, but yeah, technical contrast medium. I'll be using this a lot in the future. It's brilliant, and obviously you could save some money by just buying this and using the paints you have rather than keep buying individual contrast paints. Not to say that contrast paints aren't great in and of themselves, so say if you do uh, have an army and you have one particular colour, uh, which is throughout the army, it's worth probably buying a contrast paint just for that, just to have the contrast paint already mixed with the paint in it. But obviously if you're doing a lot of different other colour schemes, it's worth just buying the technical contrast medium and using the, um, the colours you do have. Okay, thank you for watching and listening to me ramble.